Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Body Talk Friday. This is Lorraine Purcell. I am your host every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA, where we on Fridays go into our body, into our 50 trillion cells, and we consult what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> what do you need from me? What am I, you know, we, we get so busy that we totally forget to check in. And um, our body is talking to us all the time about what it needs, what it's desiring, what it's craving. And it's important to honor that. Hold on a second. Important to honor that. So this is a time where we stop and officially, once a week, just tune in. Hopefully that the, um, the habit will form of us tuning in, turning inward, and just, Hi, Nelina, how are you? Been so long. Um, Nice to see you, darling. So, what, you know, our body, you don't have to worry about it talking to us. Because if we're ignoring it, it will get louder and louder. In other words, more pain and more pain and more pain that will eventually turn into disease. And oftentimes, we as humans don't notice until it turns into a disease. <laughs> no bueno. Um, so, what are the little tiny cues that it's giving us all along? It might be, slow down, listen, tune in to my heart, tune in, touch my heart, just see what's going on here. Um, what is my heart saying to me? How can I stay more present? How can I stop from cantilevering out in front of my existence and just pulling back in and being right with this breath? Right with this breath and hold our future vision, but stay right here. Hey, Sean, good morning. Super vital, super important, because this is the thing that's hauling us around <laughs> for our lifetime on this planet, and we must honor it. So often, you know, Western medicine is kind of like, chop this off, replace it with something, like a car. You know, when everything is, um, so important and working together. There are no extra parts in our body. I know when I was growing up, it was um, shared. I know a few that need to hear this. Oh, thank you so much, Nelina. Um, when I was growing up, it was yank your tonsils out. And turns out tonsils are important because it's gathering all this information for your immune system, what your immune system needs to gather. And, you know, another one is the appendix. People think that the appendix and the ilium aren't important, that they're just like, what was God thinking when he put it there? It was an evolutionary mistake. Well, now we know that evolution, well, there is evolution, but as far as us evolving from apes is not even true at all anymore. Um, humans, as we know it, have only been on the planet, Darcy, only been on the planet for about 200,000 years. We didn't evolve from anything, we arrived. We were, we were sent here, <laughs> so um, that it was a mistake. The appendix is really important. The ilium helps us make B12. So these things that Western medicine, by being taught that we're just like a machine, um, that chop this off, replace it with this. Yes, it's wonderful if we get in a tragic accident and we need a heart transplant or uh, a, a lung transplant, very important. But um we are all perfectly forming together rike from brazil oh my god hey it's so good to see you again honey so with that and honoring ourselves let's take a deep breath see the white light energy come in through the top of your head and go down 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 in a counterclockwise spin whatever that is for you where you're sitting counterclockwise spin through every one of your 50 trillion cells, and every one of those 50 trillion cells are important. Even if you have cancer, can those cancer cells are speaking to you. They're speaking to you. What do you, and they need, if you love them and not reject them, they will balance out even faster. Like one of the things that we do, the, the earth angel trick here, is to send love to the people doing shenanigans all over, all over the planet that are you know, trying to control other humans and you know be on their power trip. And so we send them love because that's ultimately what they need. So if they get enough love, they'll cut out their shenanigans. 
So the same thing with everything in your body. If you have an illness, if you have a disease, put your hand on it now and say, what are you trying to say to me? What have I been neglecting that has caused this? Not that you caused it or made it. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. But how have I ignored you and ignored your needs? Have I been too stressed out? You know, when you, like I'm in a, a phase right now where I'm, uh, I've taken on detailing a house that my son is um, selling and he didn't ask me to I just saw it and I'm like oh my god this needs some help <laughs> so I went in and I rearranged some furniture and now I'm at the point of planting some plants outside and it has really sent me over the edge and I'm, I'm just like really my skin's crawling because I need alone time that I'm not able to get for any time in, in the near future and so but I'm I know it's just for a time and then I'm gonna pull back and so I'm honoring my body too and listening just listen just tuning in all you have to do is just put your hand on your heart just put your hand on your heart and your attention will go there and you will start to get its message put your hand on your gut put your hand on any pain when you feel pain in your body sorry <laughs> when you feel any pain in your body it is what is it saying to you? We are to relax it. Relax that body part. Relax it. And then surrender whatever burden we're holding on to. Let's just do that right now. Anything that is painful in your body, any tension in your body, let's just relax it. Completely relax. Just see all that tension. Just melting, melting, and going down, 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 like, like uh, melted butter down into Mother Earth. Mother Earth is the master composter. She knows what to do with this stuff that we hold on to. Going down, 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 down into Mother Earth, relaxing every single muscle in our body. Any tension, any pain, we're just surrendering it down. If you're hold, see, pain is because we're holding on to an emotional burden that is not ours. If it hurts, it isn't ours. If it hurts, it doesn't belong to us. Isn't that exciting to know? And if you're anything like me, I feel ultra responsible. So I feel like, oh no, I need to keep monitoring that. I keep, need to keep, you know, working on that. And it's like, mm, no. <laughs> if it's hurting your body, you can just surrender it and then release it to God. Okay, it's, if it hurts, it means it's not ours to carry. So just relax every single part of our body and surrender all of our burdens down to Mother Earth. Feel it all going, all going from the top of your head all the way down, your shoulders, your arms, your hands all the way down all the way down all the way down all the way down honoring your body all along the way all the way down any pain just surrendering it down and releasing it into mother earth and now she's got it and she knows exactly what to do with that stuff Oh, and let's ask Archangel Michael with his white light swords to go around our bodies and sever our attachments to any people, places, things, and events. The love will stay. What we're supposed to have will stay. But all the codependency and all the goop and all the, you know, irrational responsibility will go. So let's just let, it, let Archangel Michael go around us with white light swords, severing every single cord every single cord, every single cord, all the way around, 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 all the way around. Yes, 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 yes. Good morning, Vic. Um, so do you feel a lighter burden? <laughs> all those things that we are attaching ourselves to, we're not supposed to attach ourselves to. That's codependence. So, with this freedom to surrender every burden, every worry, 
And for those of you who are in the Confident Dreamer Facebook group, group that's my free Facebook group, um, I did a spontaneous live the other morning on how important it is when we have worries to send a positive spin. Uh, and it was sparked by something that I saw in the Abraham email that came through. So needed this. Thank you for these reminders. You're so welcome, Nelina. Um, where when we have a worry, how important it is, how vital it is to change that worry into a positive expectation for that person or that event or that, that occurrence, a positive expectation. And then to hold it. Our work is to hold it. Our work is to hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Every time your mind starts going south, go back up. No, I see this person. I see this event changing in this way. I see this happening. I see holding the vision, holding the vision. This is the work that most will not do. Most people will, and this reminds us of us too, will just like, you know, roll over, play dead, um, uh, do the lazy thing, and just expect the universe to do all the work. Our work is holding the vision. That's walking by faith and not by sight or by feelings. So we must, so just think right now, what are the people, places, things, and events in your, in your life that you are worrying about? Oh, thank you. Did you just see her? <laughs> what was she doing? Did she just walk by down there? There she is. I see. She's up on the windowsill. Yeah. Oh, my grandsons love her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes, I love her, too. Finally. <laughs> I wasn't sure I liked her at all at first. I see now, Vic. Thank you. So just pick one right now. One thing that you are worried about. And now... What is the desire that you have for this? What is the outcome desire that you have for this? Just giving you a second to put it together. And now, your work is going to be to hold that vision every time that thought comes to you. Every time that that worry thought comes to you, you're going to go back to that picture and you are going to hold that to the point where you feel it in your body. You feel the excitement. You feel the, the anticipation as if it's already happening, as if it is already happening, as if it is already happening, as if you're in the middle of it, you're in the middle of this bliss. You're in the middle of this bliss. Another point I made on that video was, um, and I've seen this work out so many times in my life. Desire is God will see me through. Yes, 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 absolutely. Um, was I had the most blissful time with my grand, my three grandsons on Wednesday night. And I mean, it was the best time we've ever had together, in my opinion. We were the most relaxed. I, I've never seen them that relaxed. And... Um, you know, we're going through some stuff in our family right now, which is causing a lot of, you know, tension. And um, so everyone was relaxed. And when I went to drop them off at their mom's, uh, the phone rang. And I didn't pick it up because I didn't care what it was. <laughs> Whatever it was, it could wait. And I didn't want anything to mess up my bliss. And then a number of texts came in at that same time. Just bam, 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 bam. I thought, okay, this could be someone trying to get a hold of me, but I'm, I don't care. I am not answering. I'm not even looking at these texts. And I waited until the next day. Because even the, the energy to answer the phone or look at the texts would have lift, would have shaved off some of the bliss and I'm like no fucking way I am not giving this up I am staying right here in this bliss and I just melt that and I just embedded it in my body that feeling so that I could memorize it memorize it in my body and go back to it and this is our work guys this is our work 
Nothing is more important than that you feel good. Maintaining the feel good is the number one important thing in our life. I'm holding my agate from North Dakota and my Mondo crystal. I think I got this here. So whatever that is, the most important thing is to stay in bliss. Our brain creates the pharmacy of psychedelics. If we just had the picture in our mind and stayed with it to the point where it replicated in our body, what that is, is that feel-good drug <laughs> that we might maybe have done before in the past. Our body makes it. Our mind makes it. We have the most elaborate pharmacy in between our ears. So don't let anything rob you of your, your bliss. <sighs> so let's just tap in. Do you have a message from Mother Earth? If I write M-E, I find that uh, it kind of primes the pump. Mother Earth saying, stay grounded, be calm. Thank you. And once you get your message from Mother, feel free to be me. Yes, Vicki. Once you get your message from Mother Earth, come on up, back up, on back up, on back up, on back up, 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 through your body and just pay attention to your aches and pains or anything that your body is saying to you. My body's saying, move more. Walk every day if you can. What's your body saying to you? What is your body saying to you? And what does it want you to eat more of? And what does it want you to drink more of? Pardon me. <coughs> we haven't drawn a card in a while. Let's do that. Elena Mother Earth saying, stay the course. Yes, 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 yes. That is such profound <laughs> wisdom. Staying the course means when you feel like throwing in the towel, just throw it in. Thank you, Neelina. I need to blow my nose. Give me a moment. Eat healthier, more fluids, rest when you feel tired, and if the weather allows, walk more. That is beautiful. I love that. Rest when you feel tired. How often do we notice that we're tired and we just go, Ugh, push through? I think we're supposed to, like, take a little break. Uh, you know, I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> I think that's kind of important. And what does your body need to restore and regenerate over the weekend? My body's saying exercise.
Saturday and Sunday. So nothing should get in the way of your bliss. And it can all wait. It can all wait. And let's just let the whole thing be easy. Just let the whole thing be easy. Because the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. Listen to music, watch a movie, and call some friends. Nice. And how about just validating yourself? And when you, when you have tight shoulders, notice that you have tight shoulders. And maybe just touch them. Just a little attention and ask what your body's saying to you. What, what are you holding on to with the tight shoulders? What are you holding on to? What are you carrying that's not supposed to be yours? Uh, this yoga class I went to last Saturday, she said, was it Saturday? Yeah. She said, uh, a lot of you are wearing your shoulders like earrings. <laughs> I guess that's what we do, right? We, so drop your shoulders, drop your shoulders, drop your shoulders. And pay attention when you notice that you're... Michael Singer, that's all he did. He's now a billionaire. All he did was every time he noticed his body was tense, he relaxed it. And then he surrendered everything to God. So when we notice that our body is tight, just any tightness in our body, just go there with your mind and just relax it. Like the angels just gave you a little massage. And then just surrender all those burdens to all that is. That's all he did. Whenever a tension would come up or a problem would come up, he just kept surrendering. And every the, the point was, everything that he surrendered can't, worked out to a positive outcome. We get tense because we can't see the end result. When, but everything is an upgrade. Everything is an upgrade. Everything is an upgrade. Even if we make a mistake and let's say we got stoned or something like that. Um, and those of you who get stoned, I'm not saying anything about you. Um, for me, it would be a mistake. Let's just say for me, that would be a mistake if I decided to get stoned. Um, it wouldn't be a bad thing because I will have, go. Oh, yeah, now I know why I don't do that anymore. You see what I'm saying? So everything is an upgrade. Everything is an upgrade. And if we just know, let's see, I have, if you knew everything was really all right, and that it always has a happy ending, this is Abraham, then you would not feel trepidatious about your future. If you knew everything was really all right, and that it always has a happy ending, then you would not feel trepidatious about the future. Everything is really so very all right. If you could believe and trust that, then immediately everything would automatically and instantly become all right. There's that belief thing again. Christine McPhee got her wings. Love her and Stevie Nicks. Oh, bless her heart. Bless her heart. Okay, let's draw a card. Where is it? It's toward the bottom. And I'm feeling it's about 10 in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, double mission. Double mission. Lightworker Starseed, serve the world by being you. Whoa! Yes. Serve the world by being us. Lightworker starseeds are mission and purpose oriented. 
Many have the feeling that time's running out and there's something they came here to do, create or contribute. They're here to grow as souls individually, individual mission, and also to contribute to the planet in some action-oriented way, collective mission. Even us doing this here together, uh, making this energy together, uplifting our energy together, and then sending it out to the planet is huge. Their collective mission is often answered through a career calling or by devoting their life to something bigger. Until they remember their collective mission, it can feel as if somewhat, something's missing or that they're forgetting something important. It's common for lightworker starseeds to feel that they're different and they may carry soul memories of being visible and sharing their voice. As such, they may protect themselves by dimming their light in order to fit in, who's resonating with this, or by spending time in some sort of closet, such as a spiritual closet. We're gonna start um, serving business women soon, uh, entrepreneurs, and this is a very big issue, protecting ourselves because of you know, things that have happened in this lifetime, or we've had to dim our light, or, or other times that we remember when we need to get it out there. Uh, yes, Nilina. Um, if you pull this card, you're being called to remember your collective mission and step into it even more fully. You're being reminded that your role as a light worker is to light up the world with your presence. This doesn't have to be a great big thing or a decision you need to make. You also don't need to have a big, great big plan. If you resonate with being a light worker, all you need to do is work out what lights you up. What lights you up? Just think about it right now. What lights you up? Being on these and seeing you guys lights me up. And I'll do it until it doesn't light me up anymore. Your passions and joys. And keep doing that. That's all we have to do. Just keep staying in our bliss. When you trust, the, trust and follow the simple path of things that light you up, the simple path of things that light you up, the simple path of things that light you up, and then lose yourself in the doing, you'll light up the world without even trying. So simple, right? Starseed Soul Inquiry. How can you serve the world by being you? George and Mike light me up. <laughs> yes. Nalina, I love that lighthouse have been standing out lately. I love that lighthouse has been standing out lately. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And you're up there by a lighthouse, right? Okay, loves, this has been so much fun. For more of my work, go to 3keys2selflove.com. I want to welcome my new Instagram people and thank all of you who have been with me for a long, long time. And I just I'm so happy when you come and join me on Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m. Eastern. So now obey your body. Do what it is saying. Do what your body wanted for the weekend. And then I'll see you here Monday, if not before, at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA for Fairy Godmother Monday, where I show you how to make your own dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibilities. We actually go into the quantum field. Well, it's here all the time. You don't really have to go into it. But I show you how to tune into it and bring your intention rather than it automatically by default creating things or bringing things into reality that maybe were along your worry lines so uh, that's what we do on mondays and fairy godmother monday we make your dreams come true i show you how to make your own dreams come true you're welcome sean and of course your support sister thank you sweetie have a great weekend everybody shine your light yes vic you're welcome sean Okay, loves, um, I'll see you Monday, if not before, at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. If you have not joined the Facebook group, let me put it in here. It's pretty easy to do. Copy. Here we go. Woo! This is called The Confident Dreamer. What a title, right? Being confident in her dream. So I invite you to join. 
just request to join and we will allow we will um, accept you <laughs> whatever that is glad I've caught you sending you love always grateful for your guidance thank you sweetie appreciate it go and shine your light Go and be true to you. Tune back in the whole time. Every moment of every day, just tune back in. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Oh, thanks, Darcy. I will have a great weekend. Just sending you guys so many blessings. I'll see you Monday. Bye.